my name is uh, my nickname is schizophrenic which is a word a play with words which means obsessive with drawing a friend of mine that we used to have a hip hop band uh, came up with this name yes. because we had to find nicknames for our personas when yes. we were singing about it and he said that you're gonna be called like this because uh, it suits you you are doing this all day so I end up with this name before I even start uh, spraying walls but when it came uh, to find me uh, I used it uh, with a lot of pleasure Fantastic. And where, where, where did the uh, I... Six years old, I am self-taught artist, but uh, about ten years ago, uh, a guy from here that, used to, that lives in Chicago came back uh, to help raising money and um, raising awareness about the, the destructive fires that end, uh, end up burning down Mount Aegitos in 2008 and yes. all over Greece, of course. Yes. He had an idea to let's paint a mural on a wall with environmental uh, messages. So he found me and he proposed me that we should do that. I was skeptical in the beginning, but I took the chance. I began, I saw the power of a message, I saw the power of uh, the image, how it can turn people good or bad, how it can change the, 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 the vibe of the place. Since then, I have done a lot of commission works, of course, as an artist, but mostly I try to say something, and I come out, I coming out to paint whenever I have to say something. I, I owe a lot of things to my girlfriend. She supported me. I'm very thankful to God, the universe, for this, to this guy, Takis, from Chicago, for giving me this opportunity. Costas, tell me a little bit, uh, do you have any animals, you like animals? I was raised with tens of cats in my village when I was uh, younger. Yes. And uh, for the last seven years now, I have three dogs. I picked one in the beginning from a friend. It is a half German, half Belgium uh, female wolf, wow. which I call her Flora, which means spark. Nice. If you meet her, you're gonna understand the name. Yeah. It's uh, totally justifiable. <laughs> and uh, after Flora, I found uh, a small, a small Irish uh, setter, I think. Yes. Or like 80 percent of it. Yeah. Uh, it was about one month, years old. Yeah. She was uh, dumped here in Kalamata from her parents. I decided to keep her because I saw her eyes and I couldn't allow that for me tear me apart. She was brown. Uh, she had a biscuit color. Yeah. So here in Greece, a very famous brand of biscuits is Miranda biscuits. Yes, so I, I called her Miranda because of her color. Oh, how nice. A few months later, when I was painting in an alley, a dog, also a female dog came. And her name was already Booba. Uh, it was a friend of the neighborhood. And I found her, we became friends. And uh, a few months later, we found Booba here in the park, almost dead. My girlfriend found her and with her own uh, expenses, she took, uh, she took her to uh, the doctor. We released her where we found her, but she already picked us, picked, picked us, us. as owners. Yes. She came back to our house, we found her outside, and she became the unofficial uh, guard of, uh, because I have a small yard yeah. behind my house, and uh, she guards the, the yard. And uh, now three dogs coexist, three female dogs. And uh, since then I have been involved as an activist with um, the Friends of Animals here in Kalamata. We have uh, like a club. We're fighting for the, uh, for the animal rights. Yeah. We have a lot of volunteers. We have started something. I hope it grows. Correct. I quit smoking three years ago. I started with just walking, then I went to the gym, then I started just a bit of running, and I, right now I end up running in half marathons. Next year I want to run uh, the Athenian marathon, the, the original, the authentic marathon. Uh, because you have to do it by your own, you have to fight with your hands for yes. something. Yes. And that feels so goddamn great. Fantastic. <laughs>